fresh from the case here at Swiss Watch Expo, we've got a session here where we can learn a little something from Creed, the uh, captain of Brightling. That's right, and this is Mike. Uh, he's new old stock, as we refer to it in the, <laughs> the watch business. Uh, that means uh, he used to work with us before, left us for a little while, and is back. So, welcome new old stock Mike. Thank you. <laughs> One of the questions I had, Creed, when I first came to work here about five years ago, was I didn't really understand the Brightling customer. I understand Speedmasters, I understand Submariners, I understand uh, IWC and Paddock Fleet, but for some reason I just couldn't wrap my mind around what it is that motivates people to be so in love and so passionate, such a cult following behind the Breitling models, and I was hoping that you being the Breitling expert, you could kind of clue me in as to what it is that's so fascinating about these watches. Certainly. Well, being a Breitling captain for years and having several Breitlings myself, I'm a real fan of the Breitling product. We have a few here that are kind of rare and unique and sort of have a cult following. So I pulled them out just to give you an idea of what maybe you might be interested in too. The first thing I want to talk about is the Breitling Bernardo. This is uh, the Bentley product. It's a 48 millimeter watch. It's absolutely enormous uh, for the average person who wears it. That's what people love about it. It's solid gold. It's red gold, not pink, not rose, but red. That's the deepest color of gold that you can have in this particular model. Breitling specializes in that. The Bernardo name it comes from Wolf Bernardo, who was a person back in the late 1800s, early 1900s, that brought uh, Rolls-Royce and Bentley to the forefront of automobile racing. So this is a tribute to him. Interesting. Yeah. I think I just saw some of those Bentleys racing on Downton Abbey on that movie last weekend. That's exactly where that came from, and that's exactly what that watch uh, is for. That's cool. Yeah, so they don't make this model anymore, so if you want it, we have it here at Swiss Watch Expo. Get it quickly, because these do not last. The other watch that we have is the Navitimer. This is the largest of the Navitimers uh, that is a non-GMT. This particular watch is on a rubber strap. The rubber strap indicates the style and design behind an airplane tire. That's why it's ribbed the way that it is. Interesting. Yep. This one has the visual case back, crystal case back, ever how you want to refer to it. It's got multiple different names. People know it in different ways. You probably do too. Uh, you probably... Exhibition case back. Yeah, exactly. So you can see all the internal movements. This is a B01 movement. This is the Breitling full chronograph movement. This was the watch that brought to the forefront what we know as chronographs today. If it wasn't for Breitling, we wouldn't have chronographs with two button pushers. Interesting. That's a good looking watch. Breitling is also the official watch of the Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association, or AOPA. So, so far we've covered land sports, air sports. Yep. Now we're going to go to the ocean products. Okay. <laughs> this watch uh, is something from 2009. This is a super ocean that changed and has changed many times over the years. It's not a super ocean heritage. It's not a super ocean 44. It's just a super ocean. It says so in red on the dial. It also has a seconds hand that has a pointer on it. That's how you know how they've changed over the years. In, or in the original form, it had a square pointer, and in 2009, they went to a triangulated pointer. So and what this, size is this one? Uh, this watch is a 42 millimeter. 42, okay. So it's not nearly as big as those other Breitlings, but still within the same range as a lot of other sport watches on the market. Absolutely. Completely ready for the ocean to wear. Bright, uh, high-polished bracelet. This is a bracelet that a lot of the Super Ocean uh, collectors like to have because of the style and design of it. It's a, it's a thinner design, and it's more of the original, what people know as the Super Ocean design. You can get rubber straps, canvas straps, alligator straps, excuse me, crocodile straps for Breitling and leather as well. And you really? can match the colors to the different styles of the dial. That's such a great look with the blue and the red accents. That's one of the things that people like about Breitling. All of the different straps that they have available and you can change the personality of that watch anytime. Neat. Another watch. Another Super Ocean. We're going to stay in the Super Ocean family. Why? Because they had so many different versions over the years and they still do. This is one of the biggest appeals of the Breitling family. They're tough. They're durable. They have multiple personalities. You can dress them up, you can dress them down, you can wear them to the ocean, you can wear them to your favorite tux party. I really like the matte finish on the ceramic bezel on that one. It's a great look, the splash of yellow there. That's actually not a ceramic not bezel. Right? No, it looks like that it. is actually a rubber inlay bezel. Rubber inlay, that's right. Well, that's different. Yeah, absolutely. 
It won't scratch. It won't discolor. It won't fade. So again, I like the use of color. The, that um, piece of right, right there around the dial in yellow just gives a nice pop to it. They also have red and blue and white. Interesting. Yep. Discontinued model, but we have them here at Swiss Watch Expo, and we've got multiple, all the different colors, multiple different colors. You can choose from any of them, and you can personalize them to yourself by putting different straps on them. This is kind of the granddaddy of all of them. Okay. It's the Chronomat. Chronomat. This isn't just any Chronomat. This is also the Chronomat GMT. So you have a third hand, which is actually the hour hand to keep up with your secondary time zone, right? Okay. This is a 48 millimeter model, just like the Bernardo. It's a big watch. It's heavy. It does come in smaller models, though. It does come in a 46 millimeter and a 44. Okay. Yep. And so it's a thick watch. It's a big watch, but it, I, I bet it wears nice, though. This has a cult following. This sort of competes with the uh, Rolex Daytona series models, but the difference between the Rolex Daytona and this one, uh, this one has the B01 Breitling in-house movement, and it's also got a greater depth uh, capability of swimming than the Daytona by quite a large module. You can actually scuba dive in that watch, whereas with most other watches that are made in this caliber, you don't find that kind of durability and toughness. Also, one of the other things about this watch too is you have that specialized bracelet that's only available on Breitling. You don't find that bracelet style anywhere else. And again, high polished stainless steel. You can change out the straps for this one. You can put the crocodile, you can put the rubber, you can put the leather, and they even have a canvas strap for it as well. It's a durable, robust watch, but it's not so heavy that it's obnoxious and it lays on your wrist really well. Did, did you feel like it laid on your wrist pretty well? Yeah. I mean, I mean for people who like heavy watch? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And the thing that's interesting about comparing it back to the Daytona, uh, in the Rolex world, you can have a, a chronograph on a watch, or you can have a dive watch, or you can have a GMT. Right. But this is a dive watch that has the GMT, that has the chronograph, and it even has the date, just in case you need to know that. That's right. All in one piece. Very and nice. it's an automatic, not a manual one. All right. Yeah. Nice. So that just sums up most of the Breitling phenomenon. Okay, land, air, and sea, fresh from the case here at Swiss Watch Expo.